Oi lads, it's Danny here today, bringing you a lovely video, how to solve for definite integrals. This is going to be a step-by-step -step procedure, so before we begin, please leave a like and subscribe, and let's get right into it then. So the first thing I want you lot to consider is ignore the bounds, ignore the 4 and ignore the 2, solve for the integral as is. Notice we got 1 divided by x to the power of 2, we're going to basically move this x to the power of 2 as numerator so we're going to have x to the power of negative 2 the reason why we're going to do this is because we're trying to apply a rule of integration called the power rule very 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 important and what we're going to do is since it resembles something like this since it's the integral of x to the power of n dx really resembles something that we got right over here we're going to substitute the negative 2 term as the n basically and if we do that we can solve for this integral. So I'm going to replace the n with negative 2 and solve for it. And this is going to be the result of the integral. x to the power of negative 1 divided by negative 1. At this stage here, we're going to have to consider the bounds. So we've got two bounds. We've got the upper and lower bounds. So with the upper bound, we're going to basically take this 4 and basically replace it with our x value over here. Once you do that, you're going to then subtract the lower bound when it's applied to the polynomial when it's replaced to the, on the x basically and if that's the case it's going to resemble a calculation which you see on your screen this is a very straightforward calculation once you calculate it which you are going to be ending up with is a value of 1 divided by 4 so that's basically the standard procedure of solving for a definite integral if you lot enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you lot later bye